Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Davidson here. Obviously, we're not shaving, but we are doing some honing. My last touch-up video has failed. So, with that being said, I decided to go ahead and do a full-blown progression. But I also wanted to show you a little something here in the beginning, too. You, you guys will really dig this. So, I'm going to do a full progression from start to finish. Uh, there's one stone that's not included, and that would be the Nineewa Professional 600 because it's really not needed and no need to go down that low. But I did go to my 1K, so let's get started a little bit here. It's going to be a heck of an editing job, that's for sure. Oh, and uh, I've got them taped up and ready to go. So we should be all right. Get waddles and twaddles out of the way. My Shobodani Asuedo and Diamond Plate. Uh, my Nina, my Naniwa 12K uh, Superstone Nagura. I'll put the link to this one below too. And uh, there, I've got three stones here that require soaking. All three of them are Suhiro's. The Suhiro Serax 1K and the Suhiro Rika 5K. Now, Here's the bonus I wanted to show you guys in the beginning. Okay, fill up the sink of water because they require soaking. But I want you guys to hear this and see this first hand. You'll love this. My 98K and my uh, Snow White and my Nanewa Superstone 12K do not require soaking, but my Suhiro's do. They require a 30 minute soak minimum. So if you'll bear with me here, get me a sink full of water to do some soaking. Okay, now I'm going to put my microphone down here a little bit. So you guys can hear it, but listen to this. Trippy. Put my 5K in there. And my 1K. Pretty cool, huh? It fizz up like an air stone. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Because uh, these are going to take at least a half hour to soak. And I'm also going to go ahead and drop a photo in too. Right afterwards of my overhead set up and whatnot and when I bring you back we'll start with the Suhiro 1k and go from there so see you in about 30 to 40 minutes later okay I'm back so let's get started first the Suhiro Serax all right where in the heck is it that don't matter. All right, let's get started. Get my thing taped up. Water on there. All righty. Gonna go twenty. Flip it over, do 20 on this side.
10. Ten. Five. Five. All right, clean up strokes, ten of them. I'm just going to do simple X strokes now. Let's see if you can see me pretty in there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tape off here. Pull the tape off a little bit. Turn it off. And I'll retape it for the next stone, but not until then. So let me put this puppy over here somewhere. I've got my uh, Dasani grape water with me, so it's going to take a while to do this one, but not much. I'm going to do it in spurts. Good old grape water, flavored water. Now let's rinse off the stone. I'm going to turn it a little bit. I'm also going to clean it with my diamond plate. Hope everybody's having a real good weekend this weekend. I am. Managed to time it perfectly because uh, when I got up this morning, the uh, I noticed that it was raining. So I got all the yard work done just in time. So that's a good thing. Oh goodness! Okay, now. Now for the uh, 66, this is the one that really upset me yesterday, so let's do 20. Now, when I say do 20, I'm talking 20 seconds, me counting to 20. And however many X strokes I get in there is however many it is. That's what I mean, do 20, 20 seconds. Now, the reason I do that when this type of honing, it keeps things consistent. So, let's do 20 seconds on the other side. All right, 10 seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Clean up strokes. 
ten of them. Just simple, subtle egg strokes. I don't even come. If you come down here, you're going. You're going to put a King Kong death grip on there, and you're going to warp the razor and ruin your geometry. No need to come down that far. Just simply do this. Two. kill this one that's for sure see how when I come down I don't go all the way down to the stone it keeps the pressure even all the way across see that fine line right there that's my undercut whatnot it keeps the pressure even all the way across and it also ensures you hit the entire edge because I've had some razors that were so warped that I didn't have no choice but to hone this way. And it'd take forever and a day to hone. So this one got a little extra. I think it needed it anyway because uh, this one was in real bad shape. Okay, and that'll do it. The electrical tape off. Boom. Wiper down. Boom. Okay, now I'm going to clean this off a little bit. I wish I had a bigger sink, but you know how that goes. Clean this off with my diamond plate. This is a well worn out ultra sharp two diamond plate. I'll try to put everything below in, in the links and whatnot in the description. But not where I got them and what. That's if they're still available. So I'll hook you up with this one. This is uh, also very well worn out. 600 grit diamond plate. But it's been my best lapping tool to date. Nothing comes close to it. Alright. Now for the Suhiro Erlika 5K. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, Alka Seltzer Fizz deal. What not? So, here's my tape here. Oh, great. Just taping up the razor, guys. Now, new guys, when you go to tape a razor, don't do more than two layers of tape. That's the most. And I don't really use tape unless I have to. And this is one of those times where I have to because I've owned these razors so much now 
I don't really have much of a choice but to hone with tape now because they're so small. Because when you hone, you're changing them this way unless you tape it up. And then that's where you put either tape on the spine to cut down on the wear, or you can put it uh, on the edge, get you some spine wear where the razor sets flat and whatnot, and that'll be the end of that. So it helps. It does help when you get a problematic razor to use tape. Okay, yeah, see here. But on one side, just simply roll it over. Okay, let's go ahead and tape the other one up while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, this video comes as a request from my buddy Eric Latta over at, uh, I hope I'm saying you right, bro, Name right, over at Ventures and Wet Shaving, and my other buddy, Knife to the Face, uh, also uh, requested a full-blown progression honing video, so I figured why not. So here we are. And there we are. So let's start with the 207. On Stone's fairly clean enough. All right, now I'm going to do uh, 20. on this side. Seconds on this side. Five. Five seconds on this side. Okay, now for some simple X strokes. I think I'll just do ten. Tape still intact on this one. That's a first. I ain't putting a whole lot of pressure, so 
That's understandable. All right. Let me turn this around a little bit after I rinse it off. Turn the stone around. All right, now I'm going to do 20 seconds on this side. All right, 20 seconds on this side. Ten seconds on this side. Ten seconds on this side. Five seconds. Five seconds. All right, cleanups. Simple egg strokes, 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Nice pointy. Tape still intact. So we're good to go right there. And that takes care of the Suhiro Rika 5K. That's the only thing I hate about these Sue Hero stones. The edges are great. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. The polish is phenomenal. They're affordable stones. The problem is soak, 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 and soak as you saw in the beginning of this freakish deal. And it's more embarrassing than anything else. But uh, you get the idea. So we'll take care of that cleaning. My other superhero stone here ready. It's pretty much at the uh, at the uh, splash and go now. Speaking of splash and goes, where's my Norton flattened stone? This thing's had it. <laughs>
clean stuff. Over here, and some towels on towels to let them drip, drip dry, and whatnot. <sighs> okay, right now that was the five K. For the Naniwa Snow White 8K. Alright. First up to two first up to two oh seven. Go do twenty. Do 20 on this side, 20 seconds. Now, I've also uh, decreased my pressure by quite a significant margin. So, 10 seconds on this side here. Ten seconds on this side. Five seconds on this side. Five seconds on this side. All right, now I'm just going to do simple X strokes. Okay, that's the end of the line for this tape. Pull that tape off. Boom. All right. Over here. Let's clean the stone off a little bit. Boom. Turn the stone around. So, okay, I'm up to 25 minutes on that segment here. Now for the gold dollar 66. All right, I'm going to do 20 seconds. seconds on this side. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. All 
right, simple hex screws. Ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. And that'll do it for this set of tape. And that also takes care of the 8K stone. So we're good to go on that part. So let's clean off the stone again. Now you know why. <clears throat> okay. Now for the Mac Daddy. The Naniwa 12K. Superstone. But first, I got to retape the razors. Okay, there's one taped up. Let me take the other one. It's going to be a long one, so that's okay though. People wanted to see a full blown honing progression, so that's what they're going to get. And the edge is going to be retarded. And when I do mean retarded, I mean retardedly sharp and comfortable and good. Or at least I hope it will be. But do that way. Okay. Takes care of the other one. Okay, now get a little water on here. Let's start off with the 207. Alright, we're gonna do 20 seconds. Do 20 seconds on this side. Ten seconds.
All right, five seconds. Five seconds on this side. Five seconds on this side. Let me take a look at this because I think I screwed up. <laughs> Polish looks great. It does look good. Okay, I should take care of this one on this one a little bit. All right, now for some simple egg strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that should be good enough for this one. Alrighty, tape stays on because we got a little surprise coming here in a minute. Okay, we'll turn the thing around. 20 seconds. seconds on this side. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. All right, now simple X strokes. Okay, and that'll do it for this stone. Tape stays on. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video because my phone just said maximum video file size reached. So before I get into a second or third video, rather, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and bring you back after I clean up and everything. So stand by.